all right guys welcome back to a brand new true story animation reaction video today we are watching someone has been living under my pillow for months by my story animated i swear this title reminds me of like a life of luxury video so i'm kind of excited for this by the way guys if you guys want me to see me react to more life of luxury videos in the future you guys know what to do leave a like and leave a comment and let me know if you guys want to see more life of luxury reaction videos but today we're gonna be watching this i'm gonna leave a like on this because animations they take a lot of work to make so here we go i'm very excited you guys want to see more of these as well you guys know what to do but yeah road to 400k let's get started okay okay my let's name go. is sonia and sonia. recently everybody around me has been convinced that i'm mentally ill so mm. everything started when i was working in a stock exchange office i was making good money and i got to work okay. with famous people it was all great i had a best a friend baller. in the office named Bridget, I had some money and i got this. to go home every night to my loving fiance drew okay. that was until okay. one night True when love. things started to get extremely weird drew began calling me non-stop worried about how little i was home his texts and calls were starting to drive me Rightfully insane. So. He, I got that he was concerned, but his behavior made hardly any sense. But it wasn't just my fiance. I noticed that my best friend Bridget was behaving really weirdly. She started showing up to work in really expensive cars, wore only designer clothes, and her face okay. looked like a doll from all the plastic okay that's not weird you know exactly what she's doing man you know exactly what she's doing if she's looking like a you know a hot model like that with a, a plastic face you already know what she's up to six surgery she'd gotten when i asked her where she had gotten all this money she said i'll tell you when the time is right so <laughs> i did something i shouldn't have I snuck into Bridget's office one day when she oh, wasn't no. at work. The thought of uncovering her secret was just That's too so tempting. Funny. About five <laughs> minutes in, I had barely found anything and I was starting to feel crazy. I had even sniffed her dirty shirt in her office closet, Ew, thinking I'd smell a rich that? man's cologne. But it oh, smelled so like it hasn't been washed in years. Digger? Ew. Finally, I found a paper and <gasps> what was on it changed my opinion. She was stealing? Okay, I thought she was a gold digger, and, and and I guess Sonia thought she was too, but... Thinking I'd smell a rich man's cologne, but it smelled like it hasn't been washed in years. <clears throat> Ew. Finally, I found I a paper, from and what people. was on it changed... Okay, if you're gonna steal, like, why would you write down, Oh, I stole from this person, that person, that person... You're basically telling on yourself, like... Changed my what? opinion of Bridget. She had been stealing money from her clients for the past few weeks, and not just 20 bucks here or there. It had been hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's but how she got that Lamborghini. what was most shocking was that at the end of my list, <gasps> I saw Sonya my whatever. name and credit card number. Her and last I wasn't name even one of her clients. She was stealing from my tab too. Without even thinking, I brought the paper to my boss. He Yikes. told me they would call the police and they'd launch an investigation. Yep, the next she's day, fired Bridget for sure. came into my office to chat. She gave me my pads that she had found on her office floor. She knew I used the silly pink pads with flowers on them. Other than being embarrassed, I knew in that instant it was over. She was going to know it was me. I who mean, told she on did her. the right thing. The next thing. thing I knew, she did the, the police right thing, officers man. stormed the room and were putting her in handcuffs. Her friend was stealing she from her. She screamed at me, telling me I was going to pay for what I did. It sent a chill down my spine. But I knew she what couldn't do, you mean? do anything. She's paying for what she did later, right now. A few days later, as I was coming home from work, <sighs> people, a huge man. guy dressed in all black started following me. I changed oh. sides of the streets and oh, watched no. as he changed sides with me. When I started walking faster, so did he. My heart started beating That's out of so my cute. chest. That's so cute. That guys, terrified. guys, guys, that animation looks so cute. Me. I changed I, I sides just hear, of the like, streets the and watched foot, as he changed footsteps. sides with me. When I started walking faster, so did he. My heart That's started so beating cute. out of my chest. I was terrified, and before I knew it, I had uh -oh. made a wrong turn into a dark oh, alley with no. only one exit. Like never the man kept alleyways. walking toward me. I scrambled around a corner trying Yikes. to get away. Who knew what he would do to me? I tried to squeeze uh -oh. under a sharp chain uh -oh. fence to That's escape, so funny. but my hips got stuck. I swear, I the animations are making it so funny. closer to me as I struggled to get out. I couldn't die here. Finally, I oh, managed gosh. to pry the fence up just enough to squeeze my body, but my lower part got stuck. 
Was I going to die because of my curves? I pushed the hardest I could until I passed She's through, thick. but it completely ripped the front of my shirt open. Hey, hey, I walked home it's better covering than losing my chest, your life. You embarrassed better, and terrified. You better get out of there I wanted quick, Drew to Sonia. comfort me, but instead he started yelling, asking why my shirt was torn apart. Someone tried to hurt me. I thought that these words would stop Drew from being angry at me, but it only made him go crazier. Man, so he doesn't I mumbled care about nervously, her. a hippo attacked me. I don't know how that came out, but he totally saw through my lie. I was stressed when I walked into work the what next a bad morning. Boyfriend, Lucky guys. for me, my boss said he was going to send me to a conference a few hours away where I would have to stay in a hotel. I would have a chance to get away oh from the creepy God. stalker. But that when stalker I arrived is probably at the conference, already there. things were really tense. I tried talking to clients and other stock exchange workers, but all of them looked at me like I was a ghost. I started Wait, second what? guessing everything I was doing. Why? Did my breath smell? Had I said something still stupid? The same, By the right? second day, people had started speed walking away from me whenever what? I came near them. It was like I had the plague. People were actually afraid to what come did near she me. Do? I couldn't Other take it anymore. Get, get I bridges cornered someone and jail. asked her what was going Bridget. on. Through tears, she told me. He said if we talk to you, he'll hurt us. He who? said doing business with you would stalker? ruin us and that you can't be trusted. When I asked what? her who, she pointed out the window into the courtyard. Sitting oh there was my none other gosh. than the stranger who had followed me in the alley. I felt my blood run How cold. is that guy? He had followed me all the He's way to this conference. With Bridget, for Bridget sure. was really willing to go that far, what even from her lady, jail man. cell. I had to get out of there, and fast. I ran towards the elevators, desperate to hide in my, oh my room gosh, for the rest of the day. So of course, cute. I heard heavy footsteps behind me. I could see the stalker rushing down the hallway after me. I banged on the elevator button, trying so hard to get out of there, but the I'd elevator so was too slow. Finally, it Sonia, arrived, and I dove inside. The doors Sonia, closed behind get me just as the man <gasps> reached them. For the Holy rest of the day, crap. I paced in my room, trying to figure out what I was going to do. I hope that guy doesn't know where to get what me, room or worse. She's Every in. time I looked out the peephole, I held nice. my breath and saw the man was walking by. I realized oh. that I needed to get out of there and soon. If he I knows went back which home, floor maybe she's I could on. go to the police about what was going on. I would call Drew in the morning and tell him I was coming home. As I laid down in her my bed, doesn't I felt seem something like hard inside my her. pillow. I reached inside uh -oh. and pulled out a microphone. <laughs> my heart dropped. The man had been in my room. What? In a panic, I searched the rest of the room. I pulled out microphone after microphone what? and dozens of cameras. He has I tracking devices had evidence, and... but at that moment, oh I my realized God. my room wasn't safe. I ran down to the lobby, Holy sobbing. Crap. I told the manager I was being stalked and someone had bugged my room. The cops came and escorted me up to the room. I felt totally relieved. Why, is, why doesn't she just get out of there at all this the point? Drama with Bridget. But when we entered the room, there was nothing there. All the microphones, all the cameras, they Why were didn't she all keep gone. Any? That's when I lost it. I started screaming about how they had to believe me. I told them I was being that means stalked, he probably that I went was in danger. Into the room I blocked while she went the downstairs. hall, telling them that they couldn't leave me. That's when oh, the medical God. team showed up. They tried to get me to calm down, but I fought against them. One of them grabbed think? me and you think slapped she's crazy handcuffs or... on me. They tossed me in the back or... of the car what? and brought me to a facility. When they threw oh me in that gosh. creepy, that all crazy. white room, I knew I was in trouble. They it's told me deep. I had imagined the whole thing, but I knew that wasn't true. I was being stopped. Don't, don't they I have had security seen the cameras? microphones and the wires? I stood up with my hands I'm handcuffed. I'm sure they have security me, cameras. And I managed the, to move the doctor the hallway, out of the way. Right? I ran out of the building as fast as I could with people chasing after me. By the time I was in the woods, Holy I was out of breath and exhausted. Guys. I wandered for hours until I found a mechanic shop on the outskirts this of town. This is such a wild story. I asked story. a man to what? cut the handcuffs She's... off me, and he did. With my hands free, She's I knew I had away to from finally mental get hospital. to the bottom of this. I had to get Bridget to admit what she had done. I traveled to the nearby prison where uh... I knew she would be. I signed in as a visitor and waited in a cold, dark waiting room for her to come out. Would she even meet with me? She's like, what if I'm she so tried to sorry. hurt me? Bridget came out, looking oh like gosh, she, she had aged angry. 20 years. I started tearing up the moment I saw her. All the emotion was just too she said, much. She laughed at my me. tears like an evil person would. Oh, wow. She kept leaning over the table, taunting me and telling me she was going to come after me. I broke down, telling her that she could stop it already. Her stalker was terrifying me, and I couldn't handle it anymore. When I said that, 
She looked like she saw a ghost. She's she like, revealed what? to me that she hadn't sent anyone after her. Oh no my God. No one would talk to her now that she was in here. She had absolutely no connection to the world outside this prison. So that my heart stalker sank. Was If she hadn't just sent a, the stalkers after me, if she hadn't put the cameras in there, that meant I had another stalker. I asked her or why she had been threatening me, then. and she I told me know. it was because she was so angry that I reported her. I had enough of the conversation. I ran out of the room, leaving her yelling after me. I walked towards the subway in tears and called Drew. He picked up, sounded excited to talk to me. He told me he had a surprise for me and asked where and I was. Just I told him I was on my way back to the hotel, but I was in tears. I broke down about everything. The stalker, the police arresting me, the bugs in the room. He he sounded shocked, but he tried to calm me down. He told I me to he just come think she's home. Crazy we could too. go to the police together and he would keep me safe, even if it meant me stopping my job for a while. I felt calm mm, for the first nice time all of a in sudden days. Now. We would get to the bottom of this Last together time he was so and everything mean. would be okay. But right before Drew hung up, I heard something from Drew's phone. It was oh. the subway announcer. Only it wasn't for our home city. <gasps> it was for the city I was in. He it was, was for the, the subway stalker. I was standing in front of. Before I got a chance to no ask, way, Drew hung up. My heart fluttered. Had Drew come here to surprise me? I no, raced back to the I hotel think he's the stalker, him. guys. But when I hurried up to the room, I saw the stalker oh standing my outside gosh. my door. I froze. He held cameras and wires. Drew stepped out of the room, carrying more wires. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was Drew was her? behind all of this. He knew my stalker. I screamed at him and he revealed the awful truth. I stayed at work so late he was sure oh. I was cheating. He hired the man to find out the truth, but yeah. after I saw him following me in the man, alley, what a Drew dude. changed his plan. He hired the man to try and scare me thinking it would keep me from staying out at night or going anywhere that wasn't Bro, home she was with just Drew. Working really Before hard, I left for the man. conference, Drew turned my location on on my phone so he could see everywhere I was going. He was convinced okay. I had to be He's calling the, the man one, I was man. cheating on him with. So he had the investigator put wires in my pillow and cameras in my room. He had even told people at the conference to stay away from me so I wouldn't cheat with anyone else. Stay I away from creepy shocked. people, guys. He had like, put my business at crazy. risk and had nearly put me in a mental hospital. I told Break Drew up with that him. we were done. Yeah, and I flew we're home done. to pack up my things. Get out. Turned out Drew was the psycho one, not yeah, me. Psychopath. I was loyal to him Stay the whole away time, but that jerk guys. didn't believe me and hired a creep to stalk me. I prefer to be alone rather than with someone who doesn't trust me. Exactly. So what do you think exactly. of my story? Have you been with someone crazy like my ex fiance? Nope, man, I, and I hope, I, hope I never. Down below. I hope I never end up with someone crazy, guys. That was a, that was a pretty interesting story, if you ask me, guys. If you ever see someone psycho like that. Don't get into a relationship with them. That's a red flag instantly. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me react to more true story animations in the future, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.